Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we are in the 12th video of this series on social information networks that I have started. For those of you who haven't yet watched my videos, I've been making videos on social information networks for the, for the past few days and we are in the 12th video right now. Social information networks is an important course in the computer science and engineering degree. So we're going to be discussing the important concepts of social information networks. So we've been discussing the centrality measures, the reciprocity and many more important concepts. So in today's video, we're going to discuss the density of a graph. Now, what is the density of a graph? Density of a graph is defined as the ratio of all the edges in the graph network to all the possible edges in the network. So, if there are two nodes, if there is an edge between them, uh, that means there is one edge and there is one possible edge. So, there is one possible edge which is the edge between 1 and 2 and that edge is there. Let us say there is a node 3 and 2 and 3 are connected. So, we have two edges and a total of three possible edges. That is, even though there is no edge between 1 and 3, it is possible to have an edge between 1 and 3, right? So, we count it as a possible edge, okay? So, now, let us look at the formula of possible edges, total possible edges. So, total possible edges in a undirected graph is basically n into n minus 1 divided by 2 okay and the total possible edges in a directed graph is equal to n into n minus 1 now in this this is where n is equal to the total number of nodes in the graph. Okay. Now, now, why is there a divided by 2 here in undirected graphs and why is there no divided by 2 here? This is because the possibility or the po total possible edges directly becomes double in case of a directed graph. This is because, for example, you have two nodes if it's this is and there's no edge between them. So if this is an undirected graph, the only possible edge is this, right? Right. So the, there's only one possible edge. But if you have two edges and this is a directed graph, you have two possible edges here. That's why uh, the number of possible edges in a directed graph becomes twice of the number of possible edges in an undirected graph. Okay. Now let's go ahead and solve an example. Let's say we have one, two, three, four, and we have edges like this. Okay. Now, if you count the number of edges, so we, we have to find the density here. Okay. So, what is the formula? The formula is basically total number of edges divided by the total number of possible edges. So what is the total number of edges? You have 1, 2, 2, 4, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 1, 3. So you have 5 edges, total edges, divided by total number of possible edges. What is the total number of possible edges? This is an undirected graph. So what is the formula? n into n minus 1 divided by 2. Where n is what? n is 4 because we have 4 nodes, right? 4 into 4 minus 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 5 divided by 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 into 4 is 12. Or rather, you can just cancel this out. 2, 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 into 2 is 6. This implies that the density 
of the graph here is equal to 5 by 6 okay so this is how you calculate the density of a given graph now uh, if you have a density if the density of a graph is equal to 1 it implies that that graph is called a clique it is that means it is a very very well connected graph or it is a perfectly connected graph that is when you call a clique so if you have a b c and all three are connected very well connected with each other this is a clique where the number of nodes is three so a three noded clique okay that means all the nodes are very very close to each so the density of a directed graph will be half of the density of its undirected equivalent because we've discussed the denominator of two matters here it makes the change here okay it affects the density here so basically that's all i had for this video that is what density is and that is how you calculate density as a summary let us just discuss the formula of density once so density of an undirected graph network is equal to total edges that are there divided by n into n minus 1 div divided by 2 okay where n is the number of nodes okay and density of a directed graph is equal to total edges divided by n into n minus 1 so if you represent total edges with m you can call this m by n into n minus 1 by 2 or m divided by n into n minus 1 okay so m is the number of edges and n is the number of nodes right so these are the two formulas that you require to calculate the density of a graph and as you can see the density of an undirected graph is directly twice the density of a directed graph okay so that's all i had for this video if you did get to learn something from this video do like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video